So I've had a few people reach out and ask for more cable exercises for arms, and I'm good with that. Cables are kind of my thing. So let's start with biceps, and let's get after it. So I've said this before, but just to reiterate, you'll never see me go below 10 reps on anything arm related. I've just seen too many people over the years put on a full stack, get ready, brace himself, and actually jump over the most important part of the contraction. To me, when it comes to biceps or triceps, it really is a volume game. So to start out, we're gonna do a superset of lying drag curls and then right into regular curls. But the regular curls, once you shove those elbows against your body, almost treat it like a preacher curl. And this is a rough one because any exercise where you start on your back, isn't gonna end well. So you're gonna do 20 reps of each, and I will only do three sets of these because I did these last week and I realized one or two more sets, that could be the workout right there. So I think the true benefit of cable exercise is the fact that you can maintain constant tension the entire time. So normally exercise like this, single arm preacher curl with the dumbbell, there's gonna be a lot of wasted movement in the top and bottom of that exercise. Now with this, now with these you're able to increase the range of motion, obviously to the point where you feel comfortable and maintain that max amount of stress on the bicep the entire time. Now you just have to be that guy at the gym that drags the bench all the way across just to post up at a cable machine. Also with these, don't be afraid to get a little inventive. Change the grip, change the handle completely. One of my favorite ways is to tie a rope on this because it locks your arm into place already so then you could just focus on how you rotate that wrist to really engage that brachialis. The last one's one of my favorites because you can use some heavier weight, still at a higher volume, and as you shorten that bicep at the very top of the movement, that bicep is in a peak flex position. So what I want you to do is think of this like a drag curl, but instead of that straight up and down motion close to your body, I want you to tilt at a 45 degree angle and you keep on that same straight line plane back towards your body and the top of the movement is that bicep fully flexed. You're gonna be able to do more weight with those than a traditional curl. So what I would do is do 20 reps of those, drop the weight, and then set up like a regular curl, tuck those elbows in front, but shorten the range of motion down where at that point you're just pushing a ton of blood. This is towards the end of the workout, so your biceps are just about to pop at this point. As always, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment on the video you want me to do next, and get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.